Lily! Lily! Mr. Brown, you coming? Come on, my man. Come on. No. Lily! There you are. I find him Seuss. Did you find him? Yeah. Okay. That's Graham. It's a special day on the farm today. He's here making a documentary called Who Will Feed Us? You want to jump to the chase? <laughs> Who do you hope will feed us? <laughs> well, I guess I hope it'll be, I hope I'll feed myself and I hope, I hope. Now are you saying that because I'm standing right here? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, you uh, mean like is literally? Is that the Sunday school answer? Oh. <laughs> no, so you're going to feed yourself, and what else? Uh, and that, you know, every, I hope my dream would be that every every region could feed itself, every family could feed itself. Uh, uh, yeah. He's going to set up a shot for us. He's going to set it up on a tripod, and we're going to walk by, grab the fat hens, and move on. I said, now, Graham because Graham's filming Joel Salatin and other market farmers and stuff. And I'm like, okay now, you know my premise here, right? My brand. If you were to ask me who we're gonna, who, who's gonna feed us? Who's gonna feed us? You. <laughs> he nailed it. You. I would put up a mirror and say, you, you're gonna feed us. You, you. You're gonna grow your own food, at least some of it. You had this idea though, pre-COVID, didn't you? Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So how much more important is it now? Yeah, that it's, we've it's, seen. To yeah, I mean, totally. We've as we've been uh, we've been showing scenes of the film to to some people, and 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 everyone's been like, wow. Ever since the COVID thing, it's like this is exactly, you know, it's sort of it. It's exactly made everything that much more vital. Uh, you know, the stories and the people like you who are changing the way people look at food production. You know, those are those stories are becoming twice as important or three times as more important as they were and they were very important before so I, I think I think everybody's starting to see it now and before it was kind of a fringe thing but now everybody's like okay you know we gotta we gotta figure this out if, if, if we can't get food from the grocery store we gotta get it from our local farmer or we gotta order some baby chicks or some seeds or whatnot and uh, do it ourselves. Arun! Yeah. Saw Rune up here getting ready for the butchering tomorrow, right, my man? Do you need me to move the tractor out of your way? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Come on, Mr. Brown. Yay! <laughs> you decided to come. Nice. All right, we just picked up our nets. Graham's trying to get some shots. Wow, we got good light. See how even this light is? But we're about to run out of it. See the sun? It's slowly getting down there. I'm thinking we need to go do the turkeys and the sea monsters. He's gonna get the drone in the air. He's getting two shots in one. You think he's getting the drone up or do you think he's gonna be at his tripod? Oh, he says thumbs up. Let's do it. Guys, keep it too wide here. Two pedics wide. We'll have to go a little short right here. Good time to be in the air. I'm filming because he said to keep doing what I did. I offered to not film. So that's kind of cool. You guys get kind of a behind the scenes. We needed to make a corner here. We didn't have a corner. So we put in a fiber tough post. And now we have a corner. Did you put in your corner over there? Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's better. Okay. It's more straight. Is this the last day for their food? Yes. This is the last day to feed the sea monsters. <laughs> last day, my man. How's it make you feel? Oh, really fine. Happy. Taking a break for sea monsters. Maybe you'll have to Maybe for the year, at least a month or two. <laughs> you done? Are you over yeah. it? Mom wants to grow more. Why? Oh.
I don't know. She just wants to make sure we have them all. 200 is a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you think you got the shot of moving this with the drone, but we're gonna we're gonna do it again just in case. It's kind of weird to see much of Jimmy gone tomorrow. Yes. What do you think about putting the ducks and the geese out? I feel like they're big. Okay. I mean, they're only going to be a week old, though. Seriously, what do you feel about it? So I guess we can do it. You guys think it'll be all right? Yeah. Have you had any surprises so far? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, I, uh, I, I've been filming with a large-scale hog and grain farmer in Iowa for many years. Uh, he was in my first two films and he, he told me that he's going 100% organic, which was a huge, huge surprise because he's got like 5,000 acres of land in Iowa. Wow. Um, and just to see, to see that uh, was a huge surprise. Uh, and that was largely because he actually got non-Hodgkin's lymphoma from, from all that, um, you know, Roundup that he was mm. spraying and exposed to throughout his life. Uh, so I think he's seen He's seen the light. So we're gonna go, we'll go do the pigs real quick. Okay. And then we've got, we will move the, we'll come back down here, move the sheep there above where the side by side is. Blueberries, apple cores, lettuce, rotten apple, rotten cucumber, little scrambled eggs, cabbage leaves, skim milk, milker workers turning our garbage into bacon and sausage. So Graham, we'll have to put our nets in here. Okay. But we're just going right there. See where the calves are? Right. And you're gonna... We're just gonna... Set up a new fence? Yeah. What we'll do, do you wanna work... Next to it or...? Yep, right next to where the calves are. All the way to that single strand of white. Yep. That single strand of white fence. That's where the sheep fence is going. Okay. And the cows are going beyond that white fence. If we can get them here, that would be good. They're, they're waiting for milk. Yeah. Why don't you guys, Josiah, will you go herd the cows in and John and I will go start tech setting up these nets. Now we've got the cows moved over. We're just going to put up the sheep net right here and move them over. Good morning, bromance. Y'all ready? You look ready. Come on. Sheep, 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 sheep. Sheep, 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 sheep. Sheep, 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 sheep. I mean, I'm constantly surprised and, you know, just every farmer is so, has such a unique and beautiful way of producing food, uh, like, I love here how you have the sheep getting what the cows don't get. Like I love that. I think that's I have never seen that on a farm. And uh, also just the the amount that you're able to get your kids to participate uh, <laughs> was definitely had like I was like wow I got to take notes on that. I'll give you two two hints. Yes. Dollar bills. <laughs> <laughs> This is a business. Really? Oh, this is okay. a business, and okay. I learned this concept from Joel. Oh, okay. I mean, our farm, we're not selling eggs and, and, and beef, we're selling education. Yeah. And it's a business, and we're sell selling entertainment on YouTube, so if the children help, they get paid. Wow. Okay. And then, now here's the hard that part. That just blew my mind. <laughs> <laughs> here's the hard part. If, if, and if they don't get work, if they don't work, they don't get paid. I mean, that's the real world. We're training them for the real world. Right. Here's the hard part. They get excited about different things than you might with their money. Right. With their money. So you, 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 you gotta like let them get something every once in a while with their money that you might not be excited about. Interesting. Let's see what happens here. What do you want to get with your money? I want to get a drone. Oh, yeah. He's, he's talking about a drone since you've been flying your drone oh, this okay. morning. <laughs> okay. Cool. All right. Okay. So that, that's. That's I cool. mean, that's not terrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm fortunate that this guy wants to get tools. Like, he right. just bought a string trimmer. He just bought a Husqvarna. Wow. 
string term. I'm like, all right, it's man. Like I like that. Right it's not video <laughs> games. It might be a little more struggle if it what he's excited yeah, about. That's where I'd have, to, I'd have to take a long, hard look <laughs> if, it was a, if it was a video game or something. Like so that. they're <laughs> Legos. Let's take Legos. I feel like they have enough Legos. But if, if they connect, working on the farm is, is something exciting because they're going to there, there's a nice right. reward. Because yeah. why do you and I work hard? Right. Because there's some reward. Yeah, that's true. The satisfaction of, of, of educating people where their food's going to come from and encouraging folks to, that gets you all excited. Right. Yeah. But little kids, they, they get excited with a new Lego set. That's, <laughs> no, that's a great point. The Millennial Falcon <laughs> Lego. So what I'm going to do here is I'm about to give her some alfalfa. We can wait till you get your card going. And then I'm gonna wash her and then milk her and Lily will be down here shortly. You ready to milk? Yeah. Good deal. What's it like, Graham? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's hard to it? put into words. <laughs> <laughs> you and Lily racing, go. <laughs> is she, does she make she it look easy? Yes, yeah, she does. <laughs> She's a pro and I am the opposite of that. <laughs> Good for you giving it a go. Have you ever milked a cow? I've never milked a cow. Nope. I have filmed many cows being milked. But nobody offered it, huh? No. Well, usually I'm not in such a, it's usually a, you know, like a big type of setting. Big so, formal. Yeah. Like, uh. you know, with all those, they, they last the machine, the robots doing it or whatnot. Now we're gonna do an interview. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna sit right there, I think. It's, yeah. It was really good light on you. Yeah, perfect. That, this is the first question I always ask everyone. Uh, introduce yourself to me, tell me where we are, and tell me how long you've been farming. I'm Justin Rhodes. We're in Asheville, North Carolina. I've been farming for a dozen-ish years. So uh, talk to me about your, uh, your first... Your how's, how's Teddy doing with Graham? He's... Uh... He, he's getting used to it. He's not doing so good. He, well, we got him a whole bunch of, he got him all his toys right here. On all the right. Couch. And I'm giving him extra attention. Well, Graham's gonna film the breakfast bit. We're gonna have uh, potatoes, eggs, bacon, cabbage, bacon, bacon. Pull it out the guns. That's it. Is that not enough? That's enough. Raw milk. Well, we could have yogurt. We could, we could have yogurt. All right, Lily, come help us, please. Good. Mm -hmm. Graham, how is it, buddy? Phenomenal. <laughs> that's the be I think that's the best bacon I've ever had. Okay, good. <laughs> That's that's homegrown, home treated, home smoked, home, home seasoned, <laughs> home eaten. Home eaten. <laughs> okay, Graham, yeah. that was fun. Yeah. It's gonna be a good movie, a good message. So when is this movie coming out, and where are people gonna be able to see it? Well, we're we're sort of a little bit seeing how things are going to play out with covid but i think yeah if if things go pretty well we partnered with mother earth news and we might premiere it at the mother earth news fair next year fun we'll, we'll be there awesome we'll be there where can they see your other movies and what are the name of them well uh the first first movie i directed was called american meat and uh that one is on our website leave it better um dot com or you can get it on Food Matters TV. Uh, and then the other one is called Farmers for America. And that one you can only get through Leave It Better because we're gonna have a broadcast on PBS uh, of that film this fall. Um, so uh, so yeah, they're, they're, well, the first film's about meat production. It stars Joel Salatin. Uh, and the second film is about young farmers. And it stars about 20 farmers across the country. Okay, fun. Awesome. All right.